History is about people. It's not about dates and quotations and provisos and so forth. It's about people. History is human when in the course of human events. The operative word there is human. And if you begin to see those who preceded us as human beings who did not know how everything was going to turn out or how anything was going to turn out, because for them as for us, there was no such thing as the foreseeable future. Never was, never will be. They did not know they were going to win the Revolutionary War. By all logical, realistic uh, observation, there was almost no chance we could win the Revolutionary War. We had no Navy. We had no Army to speak of, all amateurs in effect. <laughs> and we had no money. And we were up against the most powerful nation on Earth who were our people. And yet, we brought it off. A miracle. Call it the hand of God, call it fate, call it luck. A miracle. As was the man who led that turning point in history. Imagine only a sixth grade education relatively little experience in war, and his first-rate moment was a flop, a failure. In Pennsylvania, he started the, started the French and Indian War at Fort Necessity. It was a foolish, almost adolescent thing to have done. He made repeated mistakes during the Revolution, but he always learned from his mistakes. And he had the capacity to get up and keep going. When we choose leaders, we should always take a careful look at how they've handled failure. Because failure is part of life. Failure is part of history. And it's those people who don't lapse into self-pity or blaming others, but who get back up and keep the faith and keep going. And he's the prime example of that. 